Good morning, our viewers. Once more, we're back again. 17th March 2024 is the morning today. As we prepare and go to our jobs, God is still inviting us to come and get us more of His Word. Now, today we're going to see the process of temptation. As we come to the closing end of this world, the devil is increasing his tactics. And the only way he does this is just trying to look or to improve and to see that many, many of individuals will be taken up to hell. Let's close our eyes for a word of prayer. Father Lord, come to your feet. Teach us and let us know the snares of this young, of this devil. I pray all this trusting and believing your holy name. Amen. Brighton was a lady like me and you. One day, her husband coaxed her to go and they practice skiing. Skiing is a sport that is done in snow. Unfortunately, as they were skiing, she fell down and broke her back. And from that day, the spinal cord, and from that day onward, she was supposed to be pulled in the wheelchair. Let's not forget the process of temptation, or we're going to see what the devil does to tempt us, how he breaks up families. Now, the husband was so guilty, her husband, because it was the husband that had coaxed this lady to go and ski. So he was always by his wife's side. It took upon him that he was the, the leading cause of the accident. So she was at that side. So she could do her chores in a wheelchair. Time passed by, she became pregnant. Unfortunately, she had to deliver the baby. But unfortunately, this couple were white. They were Europeans. But unfortunately, on this bright and blessed day, she gave birth to a black, a black baby. The midwife tried to hide the baby, but she had to face the facts. She was shocked because she had never, never at all committed fornication or adultery. On the arrival of her husband, she tried to show, her the, show him the tragedy. When the husband realized the baby was black, she became so furious. She left her in the hospital. So the kind nurse had to escort this mother with her black baby home. Now from that day onwards, the husband became so ruthless. First of all, she said she's not going to leave her because first and foremost, she was the cause of her wheelchair and her inval invalidity. Secondly, she knew that if only she left this wife, his job status would be at stake. They only needed, the company needed married men. So he decided to stay with the wife. She abused her mentally and in any way. She could spoil her clothes, spoil them with soil. She could beat the baby. She could tell the baby to do lots of chores. Finally, he decided to take this child to a colored school where the child was bullied. However, the mother saved some money and secretly got her from that school. The child grew up to become a famous actress. One day, this man happened to have an accident, the husband to that baby. But despite the fact that this child was black, he looked exactly like his father. They had a resemblance. 
So when he got an accident, he had to be donated. Blood, blood had to be donated. And when the doctor happened to look for donors, this girl happened to say he would donate. And surprisingly, the blood this girl, black girl donated was so much in similarity with this white so-called father is blood. And the doctor claimed that this was only, could not happen if only the genetical structure was in resemblance. So it happened to his mind that they had to do a DNA with this black girl. For the first time in life, the DNA proved that this white man who had really made tragedy and chaotic life for these people was the biological father. And when they came for research, it was proved that, research proved that they had both genetic dark genes, black genes in their blood. But it costed years of suffering, pain, anguish for the family. And the father said he would leave trying to reconcile what really happened. The devil triggered this family with such a tragedy. Now the morning devotion writer is trying to say that as Christians, the devil is preparing lots of snares and temptations and we're sleeping and we're not aware. The wiles of the devil, deceptive methods, he uses to confuse us and drag to the error. Now this world, this word translated as stratagems and tricks, it only appears twice in the Old Testament, in the New Testament. And this is found in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 14 and then 6 and 11. Stratagems and tricks are only found twice. Ellen G. White dedicates an entire chapter of the great controversy that describes how the devil is, the seductive method, methods he uses, the stratagems of the devil in the end times. And she says, this is what she says, the followers of Christ know little of the plots which Satan and his hosts are forming against them. We know little. And how does the devil do that? He doesn't come straight away. He uses methods that can, you know, weaken us. And we become a victim of his influence. The first method he does, Satan well knows that when a Christian is prayerful and reads the Bible, the, sorry, the morning devotion writer has, uh, has illustrated nine methods the devil uses. The first one, he knows that when Christians read the Bibles and pray, they get the strength to overcome his temptations. And they get a knowledge of what really Christ requires. So what he does, he diverts them from reading the word of God and prayer. Once he takes that from you, he knows now you're a weak prey and he can use you. Secondly, there are a class of people in the church who really criticize or make it their religion to seek failure in other people's religions or doctrine or character or faith. And those they do not agree. All these are Satan's hand helpers. Some people in church are always looking at other people's faults. You know, trying to find out how this one has failed. And in so doing, they even forget to recognize their own weaknesses. So this is a second step. The third strategy that devil uses, he tries to convince Christians that there are no consequences to their evil activities. 
he tries to convince them and he tries to make sin look so comfortable and good to live with. He gives examples. Check. The elder did corruption and now he looks fine. So somebody will sin not thinking of the consequences. But there are consequences. The fourth, the fourth step says he creates doubt and unbelief in Christians. Have you ever reached a certain stage where you don't even want to pray? You say, I think I don't believe in God. First of all, when you've prayed God to God and you've thought that he will give you what you prayed for and God may not answer that way. So it causes unbelief when persistent tragedies are occurring into your life. It causes unbelief. Now, many people accept God's doctrines as scientific beliefs or facts. And they think that God's word is to be tested by teachings of science falsely. Many people think that religion and the Bible should be treated scientifically. For example, we believe we're formed in apes. We believe we're formed in monkeys. And so people believe that they can put God into the side of science and they belittle his creation. So it promotes atheism. Now, Satan is a masterpiece of deception to keep minds of men searching, conjecting regard to that which God has not made known, which he does not intend we shall understand. Now, some people keep on trying to find out the unknown. And he makes them keep on that way. He uses them, forgetting to concentrate of the few little things that God put. And that will encourage us to bring salvation. The seventh way is another demonic error that the doctrine that denies Christ or that denying of Christ claiming that he had no existence before the creation of this world a teaching that says that Christ did not exist was not existent before the creation of this world another eight way the devil uses people is is fast spreading belief that Satan has no existence as a personal being. So people are trying to prove that Satan does not exist. And he does not even exist on a personal basis. A, trying, a teaching trying to make people relax that there is no devil. So there is nothing that he desires more than to destroy confidence in God and in his word. There is nothing that devil desires. To destroy your confidence in God. When you lose your faith, you tr your trust and unbelief, there is no way you can stand for Christ. After he corrupts your mind with such a belief, he can use you in any way. Most people who are demon-possessed or who are used by the devil had at one day a chance to witness Christ. But the devil pulls them away. Christians, are we punished to go at the feet of Jesus and pray for him constantly? Pray with him. Keep this great truth in your heart today. Satan is well aware that the wicked soul who abides in Christ is more than a match hosts of darkness. It is said the devil fears a praying Christians more than a host of darkness. May God bless you. The devil is planning lots of things, lots of temptations and tricks, but Christians are not aware. Let us hold the word of God and prayer as priority. That is the only way we shall overcome the devil. Let's pray. Father, thank you. Let us know that we're fighting an, uh, an, uh, an invisible creature that is not seen but is present 
Let us remember to take your word seriously. In your precious name I pray. Amen. Thank you.